what was your strategy at the beginning to acquire this data? Because obviously, without people knowing about the app, yeah. and without any data on the app, uh, it it probably <laughs> was pretty hard to to start. Yeah, I mean, first you, yeah, totally. First you, uh, so when we started, I think we went out and said, hey, we match around 30% of the wines out there. It was maybe probably closer to 10. So I guess you lie a little bit. That's one way to do it. And the other thing you can do is, is to uh, try and do some hacks that sort of build the confidence, right? So if you scan a bottle of wine that we don't know, we had a team that looked at that wine right away. So often mm -hmm. within minutes, sometimes within hours, we would come back to you by email or, yeah, I don't think we did push notifications back there, but by email saying, hey, Arpad, we've matched your wine. Here's what we found. People thought, okay, something happened. I'm going to give this another shot. And yeah. so do all these hacks that are not scalable until you build a scalable business. Wow, that's very interesting. So you you had like professionals or like researchers? Huge yeah, I would say... Was yeah, very basic researchers, I would say, right? Look at the label, mm. research on Google, find whatever data you can, add it into the database, and then go back and say, hey, we found the wine. Is this it? Oh, good. Then maybe I'll read it and so on. And slowly you're building data on that wine. Wow, that is very interesting. Thanks for watching this video. You can watch the full podcast episode by clicking here or watch another interesting video by clicking here. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section and see you in the next one.